What's going on guys? Uh, this is Matt, Full Tilt Bullies. Uh, I've had a few requests to do a uh, startup video, what it takes to start a kennel. Um, and this video here is going to be more for uh, my, my subscribers, you know, uh, my loyal subscribers, I guess you can say. Um, more more than for somebody that's just watching this video and hadn't seen any of my other videos um if you hadn't seen them go and watch a few of them then you know it'll it'll be a little better but uh i am i'm far from done with with bullies um with with what i'm wanting to do i've got to i'm going to redo my entire kennel setup uh add on to my building um it takes time um i've got three kids and my wife and uh you know i help a lot of people out um anyway uh but you know i just want to i'm going to redo some flooring and redo some roofing and you know like i said add to the building etc but um i've got a another female coming actually too which uh, i'll introduce her once she gets here um now this is i've only got three dogs out here and uh, i had more dogs at one point and um you know with anything in life you kind of learn as you go and I, I cut back i have now count the dog that's going to come i'll have one two three four five one two three four five i'll have five females i'm going to keep a male and that male so those two and i've got my uh, another one over the road um but you know i'm not trying to over overdo it i'll slowly build up and make sure that i have you know really good homes for each puppy um before i expand again but um what i did when i got into bullies is i researched 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 uh i've been in my you know my family come from uh regular pit bulls long line of just a regular uh, american pit bull terriers the first one i personally had that was mine was a pit bull named peaches um she was budweiser crusher uh beautiful beautiful dog love that dog to death um and i would say five years ago five years ago well and actually before that i had seen a dog that kind of put you in, in um place of nero here uh was a short fawn or like um champagne looking male super short stocky little dude uh where we went and bought a, a pit from when i was a kid uh, i didn't know nothing about american bullies but um i seen that dog. i was like man i like that dog that's a, you know like really short wide stocky little dog he may have been a bully i'm not sure the guy was uh advertising them as pit bulls though um anyway that's when i first seen what i what i liked and what i wanted um didn't know nothing about bullies or anything like that but anyway um was at a park met a guy he had a little short one conversated with him and that's when i was really introduced to the breed american bully breed and uh his name is jorge uh great dude um helped me out when i needed it information just uh and he kind of really um honestly he he told me you know hey if you're going to do this get you some females and and you know stud out and da 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 and build up so uh i listened to him and that's that's what i'm uh that's what i did now i bought lady was my very first first one i bought her for like 700 bucks out of the i wanna um got her beautiful dog loved her to death and uh i had her for i want to say a, a, a couple months and i just was researching watching uh youtube carolina bully farms um googling everything you know i'm just trying to figure out every single thing that i could uh, and i've loved the dogs my you know my entire life if you don't love them stop now quit watching the video because it's not worth it if you think you're going to get rich and make a million dollars stop watching the video and move on to something else it's not going to happen um now i'm not saying you can't make some money in it by doing it right but you're going to have to really be in it for the right reasons to help the breed to you know give people beautiful pets you're gonna to have to take time it's not gonna happen overnight um and you're gonna to have to really be passionate about what you're doing and learn everything that you can quit eating stuff boy but um so i got her 
like I said, research, watch videos, Google, just everything I could. Um, then, uh, my buddy Jorge actually, um, hold on a second. All right, I'm back. I had to check him. Thought he might have grabbed a bee or something. Anyway, um, so then my buddy Jorge, he put me on to um, Nessa. I uh, said, hey, I know a guy that's got some dogs off of Facebook. Um, you know, I can give you his number, get you in contact, et cetera, et cetera. So I caught, hollered at the guy. He sent me the pedigree. Um, and I was, you know, researching it. At this point, you know, I, I knew not as much as I know now about pedigrees, but I knew that if I was going to buy another dog, another American bully, that I needed to check the pedigrees and make sure what dogs did what and it like i said at this point i have already looked at what made what inbreeding line breeding outcrosses razor's edge gaudy i mean i when i get into something i just dive full into it and i mean i'm talking about just on and on and on and on research and look and you know see find out every little detail that i can um at the time i couldn't afford dogs you know like dax dogs and i've never been into the miyagi stuff um but i knew what made what um so i i made the deal i went and drove and and got nessa um really really liked her father uh and i was actually trying to find the guy that had her father to see about setting up a stud you know the things i had researched as long as the blood wasn't you know already too heavily inbred that you can run father to daughter and get you know a lot of the best dogs come from that now like i said you don't want to overdo it but a lot of good good dogs come from you know father to daughter so i got on uh hobbly i believe it was and um luckily the boy was up for sale so i hollered at the dude he had a guy want him i said look man i'll bring you this right now and i'll come get him right this second he was like bet so boom went and got him come back and i just you know i knew by putting the pedigrees together her style her look the way this little guy looked he put you in the mind of uh foxy red but just thicker bigger head you know just a, a, a more stocky version of her so i did that breeding got that kept what i wanted um which was foxy and her brother teal awesome dog and he got a little bit taller than I than I thought he was going to, but still yet, great dog. I did a few breedings, you know. And at this point, I'm learning more, so I got me a couple more females and did some breedings and started, you know, really building. Um, and, you know, I'll be honest with you, at this point, I still had the passion, the love for the breed, uh, as I do now. But my mind was more on, the, the you know, the more I can get uh, get rolling, the further I'll get in it. And that's not necessarily the case um so what i did was i got a few breedings in i got some clients and i you know i started really understanding it more uh so instead of of just breeding and doing any kind of stud and you know just whatever i really started taking my time you know um i'm really particular about who i'll sell a dog to i'm really particular about the breeding that i'll do um, I don't want any of my dogs in a shelter. I don't want to give uh, my dogs to people that are going to mistreat them. Um, you know, I've turned down more money than I've made doing this. Believe that or not, you don't have to, but I'm telling you, I've turned down more money. People come, I get a bad vibe and say, hey, um, you know, I decided to keep the dog or I don't want to sell it to you, whatever. You know, just however uh, it, it would go down. But, um, that's that's kind of my startup for you uh and you can uh apply that to your startup or you can just take it as my startup but if you're really really serious about this you better be passionate you better have love for them you better you can't be lazy uh this is not a lazy thing people think oh you just got some dogs and then you can just lay around no you got to do everything in your life that you regularly do and then you got to add all this into it um but get you get you some quality females research bloodlines what is you know what um there's a bunch of different styles of american bully out there so you need to know you know 
about that like i said you just got to research 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 then get you one or two girls or buy you a girl and a boy from puppies up um let them you know get some some age on them breed them make your first litter it's yours or you know buy you a, a female and do a pick you a really really nice stud um and then do that stick with quality save your money up don't just go out and buy the first daggum dog that you can put your money up and save it because this thing right here is if you ain't got no money put back you know i've got a, a fund put to the side you know just dogs i've got to be able to get a hold of 1500 to two grand at all times just for emergency c-section uh, emergency sickness vet bills you know something hits your whole yard and everybody gets sick you got to take everybody to the vet you got to you know make sure it's cleared up you better know how to do some things on your own shots and fleeing and worming and what foods do this skin problems i mean it's a, it's a really a lot more to it than um you know just your average jackass that that you know wants to put breeders down than than they think so this is not a uh, a, a lazy a lazy man's um, venture. So, um, and now don't get me wrong. I'm sure there's a bunch of people out here doing it wrong with, you know, this kind of dog and that kind of dog, which I'm you're not going to get into it. But um, you know, be, do do the moral thing, breed correctly, um, make sure that you you understand what you're getting into. Get you one and just say and 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 raise that one up and see how much trouble that is and then times that by you know however many dogs that you would have and all that goes into that you know water bill food bill etc you know um there's there's a lot to know but that's just my i know this is getting long so i'm going to go ahead and knock it off here but that's my uh that's how i did it i love it no regrets it's a great thing um the dogs really help keep me focused in life um my family loves them so uh if you're really serious about it go for it go for it these people a lot of people are making videos trying to persuade people not to do this but i say if you're if you're passionate about it come on let's do it let's put this breed on the map so um much respect much appreciation uh to all y'all guys out there especially y'all guys that are uh in the bully game doing it right y'all you know we keep this thing going um, till next time, y'all take it easy.